No, Kevin, you talk about Rajon Rondo and his defense gets a lot of attention, and deservedly so. They talk about how quick he is. What maybe doesn't get enough attention is his vision. He's got tremendous court vision. Our test the best of runs. No good. So Boston will take it the other way. That's not something you'll see very often. Not the mid-range jumper you wanted, but off target. So clearly it was something that was going to be a work in progress. It remained to be seen, but I think the play of the Lakers in this postseason kind of answered that. Ron brought an element of toughness and physicality. Now, he can be a little wayward and a little bit of a, uh, yeah, he can be a little wayward with some of his decisions, but typically he overcomes that with his effort and his tenacity and his versatility, I think, at the defensive end of the floor. And an older guy for a younger, promising, rising player like uh, Trevor Reese. Yeah, and in, that kind, in the context of the makeup of the Lakers team, I felt Phil Jackson and the coaching staff and the organization and his teammates felt that this would be a good added piece, and so far that's proven to be true. Very good. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Kevin, I caught up with head coach Phil Jackson. Their focus will largely be centered on defense today. He said if we challenge them and make them work hard for every point, I don't think they'll have the energy left to handle us defensively. Kevin? Thank you, Doris. And, and Clark, how often do we hear this from coaches? A lot, Kevin. You know that. A lot of times that's all coaches want to talk about is defense. It gets you easy scoring opportunities off long misses, steals, and block shots. It gets you in the transition if you defend well. Here's our test. After Paul Pierce's score. Our test with a street on run. Here's Fisher, and good with the shot. And the whistle blows for the contact and a chance for one more. And thinking of those changes with our test, I suppose you can also say that both our test and Ariza are so talented, it doesn't matter which is in there since they have such vast skill sets. You know what? Uh, you can go both ways on that one. Yeah. Yes and no, because they are different players. It does change the dynamic of the team. I think Ariza was a consistent three-point threat, as well as being an active, energetic defender. Ron has been a little more streaky at the three-point line, but the physicality and the toughness, there's an intimidation factor, I think, oh, yes. that Ron brings to the court that very few other players can bring. Nobody wants to deal with being guarded by our test. say that for, for guys like Rondo and even Big Baby Davis. Now let's send it down to Doris Burke, who is able to catch up with Coach Doc Rivers. Well, guys, he heaped praise on his team's defensive abilities, saying he had every reason today to expect that they could handle whatever they might see from the opposing offense. It must be nice for a coach to have that kind of faith in a team's defensive abilities. Guys? Doris, appreciate the update. So it looks like defense early on is the strategic emphasis here. Yeah, it usually is, Kevin. I mean, that's where coaches like to hang their hat on the defensive end of the floor. The free throw drops for Rondo. on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. You know, Kevin, you talk about Rajon Rondo and his defense gets a lot of attention, and deservedly so. They talk about how quick he is. What maybe doesn't get enough attention is his vision. He's got tremendous court vision. Now here's Gasol. Pass to Kobe. Four on the shot clock. A three, and that one's good for Fisher. The defense made the mistake of playing off him, and he drained it from deep. Lakers on the They want to be in a winning environment and a winning culture, and nobody's done it much better in all the sports than the Los Angeles Lakers. 
Here's Bob. Outside, Kobe. It almost gets it to go, so he'll shoot two here. Kobe Bryant, one of the great players and one of the great winners in NBA history. Without question, individually a 12-time All-Star, 10-time All-Defensive player, the league MVP in 08, and winning well. How about three straight championships alongside Shaquille O'Neal, 2000-2002, and then another in 2009 and 2010 as well? What a resume. That free throw missing. Kobe has certainly etched his name, Clark, in the pantheon of great Lakers. Yeah, he's the all-time leading scorer in Laker history, and I think before it's all said and done, will be considered the greatest Laker ever. Wow, that's a big statement. He hits the second from the line. You know, Kobe has played through a share of injuries, dislocated fingers, a torn labrum, back spasms, knee surgery. Last season was no different. Battled injuries, including an avulsion fracture in his right index finger. Here's Garnett. And Perkins backs in. From about 16, cannot hit. And the Lakers go with it the other way. We'll go to Doris Burke now, who spoke with head coach Phil Jackson. And Doris, what do you have to say? Yeah, Kevin, he had high praise for the defense they're facing, calling them about as smart in that department as any team they'll see all year long. So he's planning to throw a few new wrinkles into their offensive scheme and use that unpredictability to their advantage. Let's see what they have in mind for all of us. Thanks, Bruce. Thanks so much for advanced scouting. Sometimes that's a false prophecy, though, and you have to adjust to what the other team is coming out and running. And you know, Clark, that Kobe could still score, even with his guide finger and his splint. I mean, just unbelievable.